it's the war hipster here coming at you with another contrast plus painting tutorial and today we are painting the infernus marines the infernus squad as found in leviathan the new box set from games workshop that was very kindly sent to me early by them to build up and paint for all of you and here we are the last of our space marine videos to come out and well we're just going to jump in and we're going to start painting their blood angels and if you've been following along with the series, none of this should be really that surprising to you. But this will help you getting the last bit of your Leviathan box done. Now they've been primed in grace here. And the colour we're going to be using first is Baal Red. And I've got two here. We've got a normal one and a sergeant. And that's because they've got different coloured helmets and shoulder pads. So just to iterate that on the sergeant here, we're going to be painting in all of his armour, excluding his helmet and the main area of his shoulder pads, so and this kind of the field of it, with Baal Red. And we're going to be doing the same thing on the other one. However, we're going to be painting in the entirety of the shoulder, but we're going to be leaving the helmet, because the helmet is going to be blue, because these are fire support, rather than battle line. So they don't have red helmets in the Blood Angels. And because this one's our sergeant, he doesn't have a blue helmet. He has a gold helmet. And black shoulders. But for now, I'm just going to focus on getting this bowl red everywhere it needs to go. So with that bowl red all applied, what we're then going to do is we're going to shade all of the red armour using a roughly one-to-one -one mix of contrast medium and blood angels red. And this is just going to really punch up that red, make it very vibrant. Whilst also shading all of those recesses. So with that all done, we're going to move on from the red for now and we're going to take up some Black Legion. I'm going to use this to paint in, well, quite a few details. So we're looking to pick out the soft joints in all the armor. So like this one just here around his bum. Like that we're looking to pick out all of the leather details like that we're going to be picking out the Aquila on the chest and on our sergeant we're going to be picking out the shoulders as well as the casings of their weapons. So with all of that Black Legion applied, what we're now going to do is we're going to take some thinned down Cantor Blue and we're going to apply two thin coats of this over the top of our normal guy's helmet, so not the sergeant. Whilst we're waiting for the Cantor Blue to dry, we're going to take some Gilliman Flesh and we're going to apply this over our Sergeant's face. So 
So with that now done, what we're going to do is we're going to take some skeleton hoard and we're going to apply this over the top of the hair on our sergeant. And we're also going to apply this over the top of all of their purity seals and any other parchment that might be lurking around. So we've got some here. And with that now done, we're then going to take some Dark Angels Green and we're going to apply this over top of the wax seals. Like that, as well as any little cables. So with that now done, it's time to work on the metallics. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by taking some Castellax bronze and we're going to apply this over the top of the heat shield. of the incinerator. Making sure to work it into all of the layer holes. And don't forget the front of it. And of course the other side. But what we're also gonna do is we're gonna apply this over top of the main kind of section of the mag. And so with that now done, we're now going to take some thinned down Retributor armor. I'm going to use this to paint in any decorative details. So for example, just here on the knife scabbard. Like that. We've got the pommel and the cross guard. As well. And for our sergeant, we actually have the bits of his helmet. He's currently still wearing, so got that kind of the ears and the face mask. And so with that now done, we're now going to take some thin down iron warriors, and we're going to apply this over well, pretty much all of the remaining details. So with that all done, it's now time to add some shades. And the first one we're gonna add is some Null Oil. We're gonna apply this over the top of all of the silver and all of the black. And so with that null oil all applied, I forgot to mention we were also going to apply that to the Cantor blue helmet. 
So we've applied it there as well. As you can see, it's still drying. And what we're going to do now is move on to the Castellax bronze areas. And the color that we're going to use to shade these is some Agrax Earth Shade. And with that done, just to finish them off, at least for this first stage, is we're going to take some Reichland Flesh Shade. We're going to use this to shade the gold. So with that done, our Infernus Marines are now what I would call a war hipster battle ready. They're looking pretty cool. However, we're not going to leave them there. No, we're going to take them to the next level. I'm going to do this by adding some highlights. Now, the first one that we're going to add is some thinned down Evil Sun Scarlet. I'm going to be using this to highlight all of the red. And with that Evil Sun Scarlet all applied, we're then going to take some thin down Fire Dragon Bright and we're going to apply this to the sharpest areas and upward facing edges. So with that all done, the red armor is now finished. So what we're gonna do now is move on to all of the black details. And the color we're gonna be using to highlight these is some thinned down Dawnstone. So with that done, we can now move on. And we're gonna move on to the blue of this helmet. And the color we're gonna be using to highlight this is some thinned down Hoeth blue. And with that done, we're then going to take a little bit of Fenrisian Grey and apply this to the corners on the top there and a little bit of it at the point. And down the face grill. Like that. So just to finish off the blue helmet, what we're then going to do is take some Fire Dragon Bright I'm going to apply this as a little line going across the middle of the eye lenses. So 
So with that done, the helmet is pretty much finished, apart from the silver, so we can pop him to one side just for the moment, and we can work on our sergeant's face. The colour we're going to be using to highlight his skin is some thin down flayed one flesh. And with that then done, I'm going to take a teeny tiny little bit of Black Legion. I'm going to apply this over the top of the eyeballs. Like that. And over the top of these two little service studs just up here. So with that Black Legion applied, we're then going to take a very teeny tiny little dot of Screaming Skull. I'm going to apply this in the corners of the eyes. So with that all done, what we can do is we can take some Thin down iron breaker, and we can highlight all the silver, starting with this guy's headgear. So, with all of that silver highlighted, we're then going to take some thinned down Rune Lord brass. I'm going to use this to highlight the heat shield. And so with that Rune Lord Brass applied, we're then going to take some Liberator Gold. I'm going to use this to highlight all the gold details. And so with their bases now complete, our Inferno squad is finished. And I went for a big man of 10 because 10 flamers in one squad just to me felt insane and also great, just very, very cool. And flamers are pretty fluffy for Blood Angels, weirdly. Not quite as fluffy as they are for Salamanders, but for Blood Angels, they use a lot of flamers and assault cannons, of course. And I just really like this squad. I really like them. They're really cool. If you enjoyed this video, you love the channel, and you'd like to support me further, you absolutely can do so. Head to patreon.com forward slash warhipster, just like these bosses have done scrolling up on the screen before you, whose continued support helps me continue to make all the wonderful content that you enjoy. Alternatively, you could become a YouTube channel member by clicking on the join button on the channel page or just below this video like these wonderful, amazing people have done. And if you really like this video and you just want to shoot me a little thanks, you can click on the thanks button just below this video. Don't forget to share it, like it, comment on it, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And to make sure you stay up to date, don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all very soon in the next one. Happy Wargaming.